They say that taking a bath while wearing jeans is equivalent to committing suicide. There was once a beautiful woman who, in order to show off her figure, lay in the bathtub for six hours. Due to the shrinking jeans cutting off her blood circulation, the woman tragically died in the bathtub. But are jeans really this dangerous? The Mythbusters team set out to find the real cause of death by jeans. Carrie first consulted with the urologist, and the doctor stated that this claim wasn't entirely unfounded. This is because human thighs have two types of blood circulation. Red represents high-pressure arteries that transport blood to the legs, while blue represents low-pressure veins that are mainly responsible for returning blood and clots back to the body. If blood clots flow back to the lungs, it causes pulmonary embolism, leading to suffocation and death. What do you think would happen? Drop your prediction in the comments. To recreate the scenario of being strangled to death by genes, the Mythbusters team decided to have Grant sacrifice himself for science. However, she hoped to do a simulation test with fake legs first. So Tori covered her beautiful bottom with plaster, and after 12 hours of hardening, they began making realistic fake legs. To visually demonstrate how genes block blood flow, Tori placed surgical tubing inside the mold, positioning them the same way as human leg veins. After pouring tissue substitute gel inside, a pair of supple and delicate, beautiful legs was complete. Next, Tori dressed them in tight jeans, then placed them in the bathtub and connected the tubes that transport blood. The tubes had valves installed to control blood flow speed. Then they poured red liquid into the container, while Grant tested the blood flow rate at 475 milliliters per minute, which is exactly the same as human leg venous flow. If during the experiment the flow rate is detected to be lower than this value, it proves that genes can block blood circulation. After that, they filled the bathtub with hot water. But can genes soaked for six hours really cause death? Follow for the results and more myth-busting experiments.